guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new my name is Madison and I am a pre-nursing student and this video has been requested by a couple of you and it's been one that I've wanted to film for a while and this is how I got an A in anatomy and physiology and I'm gonna tell you guys everything that I did and how I studied it is so possible to get an A it may not seem like it and especially to get an A like the first time you take it, but it really is and you just have to believe in yourself, okay? Don't psych yourself out and don't compare yourself to other people because that won't get you anywhere. It'll just kind of knock you down a little bit. So yeah, but these again are just things that worked for me. So they may not work for you because we may have like different ways we prefer to study, but I'm hoping that, that these tips help you and I, hopefully I can kind of explain how anatomy and physiology works for those of you who who are considering nursing or are about to take anatomy or you know anything like that because I was pretty confused and kind of unsure what I was getting myself into at first so yeah um, if you guys have any requests or anything please let me know down below and let's just go ahead and get started also if you guys see me like looking down here it's because my laptops here and I have a list of topics that I wanted to make sure that I hit because I talk a lot and I ramble on, so I really want to stay on topic. So the first thing I want to talk about is kind of my experience and just explain really quick kind of where I'm at with anatomy, if that makes any sense. So I um, had to take anatomy in the summer, just this past summer, because of how things worked out. Like I couldn't really wait. I needed to take anatomy like now. So I took anatomy in eight weeks um and if you've been in anatomy you know that it is it's a lot so um summer classes are normally shorter so you take 16 weeks crammed into eight weeks i did not know that like i could learn that much so fast um and i had labs twice a week so then it would add up to like 16 labs um and then i had lecture three times a week but instead of for just one hour I had it for two hours of so normal anatomy if you take a 16 week course what you're going to have is you're going to have a lecture part and you're also going to have a lab part and normally it's about four credit hours so there are two parts you have your lecture portion and you have your lab portion so your lecture portion of anatomy and physiology is the physiology part the function how it's all working and being able to really apply what you're learning and then the lab portion is like being able to identify on models and stuff. Um, labs more like hands-on and stuff and lectures you're just sitting you're taking notes in like a lecture hall. Tips on lab. So lab is all memorization. It is being able to look at the models and if there's like an arrow pointing to it you have to be able to know um, what that is and that is really all memorization. You're memorizing the words like where they're located and a couple tips that I have for anatomy lab is of course show up to class um, mine was like mandatory it's really hard to kind of try to make a lab up if you miss it um, number two is take pictures of the models if you're allowed to um, at my um, college we are allowed to take pictures of the models which is so nice because those are the ones you're being studied on so you literally just have to memorize and know where the things are um, and taking pictures of the models help and then you can like print them out and then like label them yourself or you can like quiz yourself in the book you can go on Quizlet, make your own, and also try to figure out if you're allowed to rent the models out. So like obviously stay in the library and use them and then you just like return them, it's like free. And that helped so much because you actually like get that practice and you can just quiz yourself even more. So I definitely recommend checking out if you can do that. So now we're gonna talk about the lecture portion of anatomy and physiology. So the lecture portion is typically a the part that most people struggle with more compared to lab because it's more of like, applying what you're learning now um, my first tip again is go to class and it sounds so like duh but when you're gonna wake up on those mornings if yours is in the morning those mornings come around sometimes where you're just like i am so tired but you're gonna regret it if you don't go to class because you're gonna be kind of more stressed out um so yes go to class and take notes um if your teacher shared the notes with you that's great like print them out before or start taking notes um, as they're talking um, for my anatomy one she had powerpoints but the powerpoints had like one word on them so you really did have to go to class to get them and for my anatomy two she doesn't share anything with us at all so you actually have to go to class to get everything but let me also mention I did not miss one lab and I did not miss one class at all and I'm halfway done with my anatomy two right now and I still haven't missed one lab or one class so 
really really try to go to class that is like my number one tip it will help you so much next thing is so for notes personally for taking notes I can do a whole video on how I like organize my notes how I take it the stuff I used but I just this is specifically for anatomy what I did was she would have a PowerPoint and she put it on the projector and she would just you know okay like you have like a certain word on there and then she's talking about it so I would bring my laptop to class and I would just start typing in the PowerPoint whatever she was saying and like my anatomy one teacher was so particular about wording on the test like if it wasn't what came out of her mouth then it was like wrong I learned how your professor really works and yeah so then what I did is I learned so like it sticks so much better in my mind if I write it out and um, so many professors have said it's like a proven fact that students retain information better than just typing when they actually write so what I did was I would go home and I would write it's my anatomy notebook. Um, what I would do is I would go home after class as soon as I possibly could and rewrite my notes. So I would write them neat and I would do like um, a kind of like, oh my gosh, my papers are flying everywhere, like a color scheme. And I would just take my notes and highlight and stuff and it, it was more so for me like I already had all the notes but like actually like writing it down and figure out how like what works like taking note wise for you so I have to write my stuff out because it really helps me remember and that brings me to my another point of how I studied was I got a dry erase board um it's like a good size because I have room to write but it also fits in my backpack which is so nice um and this is just and it helps me so much being able to write out or draw like charts or pictures to really understand. So instead of just taking like wasting a ton of paper, like I just use this and I just keep going and going and going and writing certain things until I remember them. So the next thing that I recommend is making like flashcards or a Quizlet. The whole section, like the whole chapter, whatever my exam was on, I would literally somehow put all of this into Quizlet questions. So I would do like terms. Okay, what is blank? But then I would do just like the term so I was would make sure that I knew both ways so you're not just like knowing it one-sided so you really understand it and then I would make so many questions and like word them different ways so even if it's like the same term there'd be different questions on it and um, that really really helped Quizlet helped me so much like that is how I study my notes is I put my notes all in like question form. Next thing that I would do is read my notes out loud and I would make sure I would just do this about one time the night before my exam and I would pretend I'm like almost teaching someone or talking to someone. So I would teach a fake audience um, and that really helped in saying it out loud. Also another important thing is don't be afraid to ask for help. Also was not hesitant to email my professor. So I would email my lab professor if I had a specific question or my lecture professor. Ask them. They want you to ask them questions. But once you take like your first exam I know it's like really nerve-wracking because you don't know how it's going to be but try to figure out how your teacher words their questions and you, so you know what to expect. There were always questions like clinical applications. So all right so you have a patient who comes into the hospital and they have like these are the symptoms that's going on and like blah 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 so you really have to know the material in order to apply it but a lot of people like freak out when they see those kind of like questions they're like oh my god it's not just like what is what is this or blah 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 so what you do is you have to like pick out the key points so like a person comes in and they are severely dehydrated okay severely dehydrated like underline that and then if they talk about like other symptoms underline their symptoms underline like what you know or what you recognize oh my god yeah these are the symptoms of what I've learned or okay dehydration we talked about that okay just a quick wrap up go to class like go to class to make sure you take your notes make them like make quizlets that is like what that that is I can really say that is how I got my A is I made quizlets or make flashcards. Go over them every day or if you can go over your notes, if you have a break after your anatomy class, read through them and how I would review is I would like rewrite them as soon as you can and just look over them every day. And when you're laying in bed, like go on your phone and just go through Quizlet. If you made a Quizlet, you can get the Quizlet app. That helped a lot too. If I can help any of you guys in any way, please, please let me know. Um, but really just believe in yourself. I never ever thought I could get an A, let alone get an A like the first time I took the class. But you really have to believe in yourself and just work hard. I promise you the amount of time and effort that you put in to studying and going to class, it will pay off. I promise you. I worked so hard and it 
it really paid off and I know you guys can work really hard too. And to end this video, I also wanted to say that it's okay if you don't get an A in anatomy and it's okay if you don't pass the first time or the second time. Um, or even the third time, you know, just try your best and you will succeed and don't be too hard on yourself because there's so many times where like just because I got an A in anatomy doesn't mean I got an A on every single test. You know, there were tests that I felt super confident on and then I get my grade back and I'm like, I studied so hard and it can be very discouraging. But don't get down on yourself, especially if you do bad on the first exam. Don't get down on yourself. It's so hard to know what is expected of you for the first exam. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope it helped. Those are like the tips that really helped me pass anatomy and physiology with an A. Um, and I also want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing and sending me so much love on my last videos in the comments and in the likes. It means so much to me and it makes me so happy and... You guys are just so nice and I love making videos and it makes me really happy that you guys like watching them too. And I, yeah, I just want to help you guys out and make sure and help everyone succeed because I know it can be hard sometimes, but just remember we're all in the same boat and we are all trying our best. So don't be too hard on yourself and don't be too hard on others. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. If you have any requests, feel free to leave those down below. But I wish you guys the best of luck if you are taking anatomy and you guys can do it. Just believe in yourself. Don't psych yourself out. Go in confident knowing that you can do it because I promise you if I can do it, you can do it. So thank you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh girl, just wait. Hey, we was moving too fast and then we lost it.